What's poppin' YouTube, JD here, back with yet another review for you guys. And in this video, we are talking about what might just be the nicest colorway of the 350 V2 to drop this year. We are gonna be talking about the Yeezy 350 V2 Zion. What up fam? So in this video, I am gonna break down the sneaker, talk about the colorway. We'll also get into how to style these sneakers. Of course, we will be talking about resale as well. And as always, I will be giving you guys that on feet look. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video. Before we get into the shoes, I just wanna say a big thank you to all of you, all of you guys who watch this channel, every single one of you who comment on my videos, who hit me up on Instagram. There's just been a lot of love on the channel lately and I can see the numbers, like the channel seems to be growing pretty fast right now. So just thank you, man. It's just so dope to see all the support on the channel. So yeah, shout out to you guys. All right, let's talk about these Zions. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I have been hating on Yeezy 350 V2s for a while now. And one of my biggest complaints has always been that the colorways just look too similar. And the colorways are just not that wearable. We got like 20 different versions of like yellow Yeezy 350s. We got some like highlighter green pairs. But as far as like the wearable pairs, they are pretty few and far in between and Adidas and Kanye West finally fresh off of his one week presidential campaign. Adidas and Kanye have finally given us one of the most wearable 350 V2s we've seen in a long time. So for the first time in a while, I actually felt excited about a pair of 350 V2s because I really like this colorway. In fact, I would even say it's the best colorway I've seen on a 350 V2 since last year when we saw that Yashiel pair drop. I thought that pair was pretty interesting with all the different colors on it. However, this one, definitely the nicest pair I think to drop in 2020. The upper of the sneaker is basically a mix of browns and gray. I would even say it's a grayish brown. The stripe is done in this dark brown and you have hits of like cream and brown all over the sneaker. A lot of people were saying that this sneaker reminds them of the Turtle Dove Yeezys, one of the most iconic Yeezys ever. But actually having this in hand, I would say like the Turtle Doves is more of like a cookies and cream colorway. This one I would say is more of like a coffee and cream. For the Zions, this time, we didn't get a reflective version and also the laces are not reflective the only part that is reflective are these three stripes in the heel the midsole of the sneaker done in this translucent creamy white color and i really think it brings the whole shoe together at the bottom of the sneaker you have kind of like a pale orange and it's somehow even though it's kind of an out there color it just kind of goes really well with the shoe on this 350 v2 we do not get the heel tab let me know what you guys feel about that. Do you like the 350s with the heel tab or without? I personally like it with the heel tab, so I would have preferred to see a heel tab on this pair. But going back to the colorway, these colors just fit my style really well. It's a very easy sneaker to style. Here I did wear a couple of outfits. First, I got a simple black tee with some beige pants. I think beige pants with these sneakers look absolutely sick. Just a nice simple outfit with some tonal vibes going on. For the second outfit, I got this oversized cream hoodie, which I copped from Uniqlo, and I'm rocking some Adidas shorts. We all know 350 V2s look great with shorts. Got the socks to match as well. Once again, just a very simple outfit. If you're wondering why am I wearing a hoodie with a pair of shorts, well, I don't know, my legs don't really get cold. When it comes to sizing, if you've never worn a pair of 350 V2s before, I personally always go a half size up than pretty much all my other shoes. So go a half size up from your true size so whatever your Jordan 1 size is your Air Max 1 size is uh, just make sure you go a half size up very quickly if you have found this video useful so far and you haven't subscribed to the channel already make sure you are subscribed and of course drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it it really helps out the channel guys so make sure you do so all right so let's talk about resale there is a lot to talk about here I don't know about you guys let me know down in the comments how many pairs did you guys manage to cop because these sneakers for me were a pretty easy cop. The reason for that is because pretty much any store that sold sneakers got these shoes. The store list for this was huge. I mean, every single store, whether they've gotten hype releases in the past or not, they definitely still got these Yeezys. So I figured there was a lot of stock. So when I entered raffles, I didn't even enter as many people as I normally do. I pretty much just entered myself and my girlfriend in the raffles. And I still managed to cop six pairs. And based on what I've seen online and on Instagram from some of you guys, it looks like a lot of you guys managed to cop this pair. 
From what I heard, there could have been almost half a million pairs of this produced, which makes this one of the most widely available Yeezys since the Cloud Whites came out. And if I remember correctly, those Cloud Whites had up to a million pairs. The good thing is though, this is a very wearable colorway, so I don't think you're gonna have any problems selling them. I wouldn't personally sell them on sneaker platforms because then you're pretty much just gonna be making like five or $10 profit right now with the current prices. So make sure you look at your local Facebook groups, look at your local class classified websites, that is where you want to be selling these. I'm guessing a lot of people might even return their pairs, which will make these even easier to cop later on once they restock in several different stores. Here's what I plan to do. All of my pairs in the bigger sizes, I'm going to basically sell them right now. And the smaller sizes that I managed to cop, I will hold on to them for at least six months. The reason that I'm not holding everything is because I really don't see the prices on these going up too fast. I do think they will go up because of how wearable this colorway is, but just because of the quantity out there, I just don't think they will go up that fast. I've seen some people online show off that they've copped like 20, 30, 40 pairs, and that's something I just simply wouldn't do right now because instead of, for example, instead of buying like six pairs of Yeezys, a much better investment in my opinion would be like buy one pair of Chunky Dunkies or just wait till next week when the Jordan 4 Off-Whites come out. Um, that might be, I don't know, 600, 700 uh, for resale. So I would rather buy one pair of those than hold on to three or four pairs of these because those sneakers are just way more limited, way more hyped, and the chances of those going up faster is much, much higher. So I just personally wouldn't hold a lot of pairs simply because there's better investments out there I wouldn't mind holding just a few of the smaller sizes those typically tend to do much better than big sizes but otherwise it's just not worth it to me to hold on to these so I'm planning on selling my bigger sizes in the local markets just for a quick profit if you took an L on this and you wanted a cop for personal don't worry because you really shouldn't have too much problem especially if you look in your local Facebook sneaker groups look in your classifieds websites you might find people even selling this for retail or close to retail especially especially if they copped it from a store where it's difficult to return it to. All right, so let's get into my favorite part of the video, the cop or drop. And just to be clear, guys, this section of the video is when I give you my personal opinion about a sneaker. It has nothing to do with resale. It's about whether I would personally rock it. What do I think of the colorway? It's just my thoughts on the sneaker itself. And like I said earlier, I love this colorway. This coffee brown colorway just looks good with a lot of different clothes that I typically like to wear. Of course, 350 V2s are just super comfortable. And maybe I'm just overhyping this, but I'm gonna say it right now. This is actually my personal favorite colorway since the zebras dropped. Yes, that's how much I like this colorway. So yeah, this is the first 350 V2 in a long time where I'm saying these are a cop. If you haven't already followed me on Instagram, that is the easiest place to contact me. The handle is right here. It is at JDKick6. Definitely drop a lot of content on there as well. Shout out to all of you guys for watching this video and for messing with the channel. The on feed portion of the video coming up right now. Until next time, guys. Peace.